Well, thanks so much for joining me on Wednesday, October 7th. I trust that you're having a great Wednesday. I want to thank you for giving me five to seven minutes as we continue to be challenged to become the best leaders that God has intended us to be. We want to look at a secular example of leadership, and then we ultimately want to look at God's word because I believe that's the best guide for our leadership to help us grow as leaders so that the gospel can go out from the church and evangelism, and then we can be equipping the saints and discipleship within the church. We've been walk, walking through this book by John Maxwell, The 21 Year Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. Today, I want to look at the law of the picture. We all learn in different ways. Some of us learn by hearing the instructions. Some of us learn by reading the instructions. And then some learn by watching others model what they're supposed to do. Now, a great leader or a great teacher is going to work in all three of those into their teaching curriculum or into their delivery so that each person can learn in their best way. One way is not better than the other, but it's a good reminder for each of us to challenge us to be leaders, to evaluate how we're leading and how we're communicating, that we communicate to the eyes and to the ears, and then also to be able to help our listeners be able to see what we're modeling. Our leadership thought for today comes from this idea of modeling leadership. I have this quote, and this quote says that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. We see this all the time. When we see something that we like, we model ourselves after it. Many kids have grabbed a basketball and pretended that they're dribbling down the court with three seconds left on the clock, and, and they're going to be the one that sinks the game-winning shot. Some kids grab a football and they're the, the quarterback or they're the running back that's going to run the ball across the goal line. Many kids walk around school with a person's jersey on because they want to live their life modeling after that athlete because that's who they want to be. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. <clears throat> As we look at our leadership this afternoon, the question that we can ask ourselves is... Would I be happy if people walked around imitating my leadership style, my wording, my mannerisms, and my drive as a leader? What would that look like in your area of influence? Maxwell says it this way. He says, nothing is more convincing than living out what you believe. It takes little effort to believe something. It takes more effort to model something and follow through based on what you believe or what you said. I can say many things in leadership. You can say many things in leadership. But what I have been challenged by with this quote is, am I modeling what is important? Am I modeling what I'm saying? I can be saying one thing, but then my actions are actually saying something else. Many people, they hear what we say in leadership, but then they watch the way that we handle ourselves. And then they see that what we're saying doesn't match up with what we're doing. And it causes them to pause and it causes them to ask the questions, what do you value? Because what you're saying and what you're modeling are two different things or there's two levels of importance. So what are we saying with our actions? What are you saying with your actions as a leader? What are you modeling that's important in your leadership? Are you modeling knowledge? Are you modeling relationships? Are you modeling trust or commitment, perseverance, patience, the speed of which you do things, accuracy in which you do things? What is important to you and how it is important will show out in your actions. What is important to you and how do your actions show that it's important? We can say one thing. But oftentimes, our actions don't follow through with what we're saying. Paul said it this way in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Paul is speaking and he says, follow me as I follow Christ. Paul sets the example of leadership. He says, hey, you follow me because I am following Christ. Our leadership within the church should be pointing people to Jesus. And we shouldn't be trying to gather people around us to make ourselves be better leaders. We should be the conduit that are taking people and pointing them or leading them to the foot of the cross. Our goal as leaders is to take the gospel out to the community 
And then our goal as leaders should also be to equip the saints for the work of service. Because each of you watching, whether you're here in the church or whether you're outside in the neighborhood or whether you're on the mission field, you have a group of people that you are mentoring. You have a group of people that you're discipling. You have a group of people that you're walking through life with, helping them learn and understand what leadership is, especially within the church. And we're helping people grow in their knowledge of God's word. And then we're helping them apply that knowledge so that they can become leaders who lead other people. You see, I believe Jesus is the ultimate leader. He is the ultimate example of leadership. And as the ultimate leader, we should be pointing people to Jesus and we should be looking to Jesus as our example. And so it's really humbling coming back to 1 Corinthians 11, Paul is saying, hey, don't follow me. I want you to follow me because I am following Christ. And ultimately, we all need to be spending time in God's word and we need to be able to point people to Christ. And that's easy to say, but sometimes it's hard to do. Sometimes it's a challenge. In our leadership in the church, in our leadership in the workplace, in our leadership on the mission field, for those of you that are missionaries that are watching, we should all be pointing people to Christ. And we're saying that we are, but do our actions back that up? Are your actions and your words pointing to Christ? Many times people will be watching what we believe over listening to what we believe because actions speak louder than words. So as we end our time, I want to come back to this quote. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. Let's have people imitate us because we're imitating Christ. And ultimately, people are going to watch our actions because we want to help paint a picture of what it's like to be in leadership. Thanks for watching. I hope that you've been challenged by this. And I hope that you continue to grow in your leadership as I grow in my leadership. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.